the day after and peace reigns. Talks are underway to figure out a coalition, locking political opponents together. Everything is going to be OK, says the sign. So if the outside world had thought this was going to be a moment when the far right really gained a hold here, those who will now be in government said, sorry if we're a bit boring for you. In the end, the Dutch voters are, have uh, voted for a reason and uh, some, somehow we are a little bit dull. <laughs> You, expected, you think this is dull? <laughs> well, you expected a lot of, of these elections and I was always sure that in the end voters would vote for, for a reason. That message has now been repeated all over Western Europe. Angela Merkel, the German Chancellor, said it as well when she visited France, where attention will now turn to how to defeat Marine Le Pen of the National Front. The Netherlands are our partners, friends and neighbours. Therefore, I was very happy that a high turnout led to a very pro-European result, a clear signal. This after days, the Netherlands had to tolerate accusations and reproaches from Turkey, which are totally unacceptable. One of the biggest emotions here is relief after the shock of Brexit and astonishment at the rise of Donald Trump in the United States. The great fear was that the political centre had simply fallen apart. So the Dutch election result is being presented as a restatement of the idea of decency in politics. Not everyone agrees, though. Here's the Socialist Party bloc winner of 14 seats, but resigned to opposition. The traditional left here has collapsed, and the far right has moved much opinion in its direction. So where, they ask, is the political centre exactly? To, to claim this is, uh, this is a winning of the reasonable uh, parties. I think the European will put it that way. Uh, I, I think uh, uh, you see that in Germany, they put it that way. Uh, everybody is happy that uh, Rutte won. I, I will see what the, what the future brings, but I'm, I think that the loss, the devastated loss of the left in the Netherlands uh, is something uh, we need to recover. Thank you. So plenty of opportunities to mock Geert Wilders of the far right, even though he actually gained five seats in Parliament and isn't going away. But the fact he didn't win outright is the measure of where things stand. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, The Hague.